sat above the mountain with their chairs, with their cold drinks, and enjoyed the bombardment of um, defenseless Palestinian children and them being burnt alive. I could not ever come to terms with that kind of inhumanity in this day and age. When I read the Anne Frank's diary as a young girl and the things that she wrote in it, I could never imagine that more girls in Palestine would be living in worse situations than that. If apartheid was not good for South Africa, certainly it is not good for Palestine. If the apartheid and Berlin, uh, Berlin Wall was not good for Europe, it is certainly not good for Palestine. If human rights are good for Western power and Western countries, certainly they also belong to Palestine. And that is what we should all speak up for and stand up for. Although this vote in British Parliament is just a moral victory for Palestinians, but it has to begin somewhere. And often it starts with the moral, cur moral courage, and then it leads to action, and it leads to more better things. 135 uh, countries in the world have already accepted, although people can disagree with it. Three countries in Europe, Spain, Sweden has taken the lead, and Britain now. And apart from that, Latin American countries are also leading the way. Chile, uh, and uh, more, many more countries are of the mind. They will soon be on board. So we just need to take courage from whatever little steps are taken, and we'll keep on fighting. Million people marched in London, and they couldn't stop Tony Blair from going to war in Iraq. Million people march every day here for Palestine. They cannot stop Israeli aggression, but they can still stand and feel the pain, and we will continue doing it until we win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <coughs>